While footage of the Fujian aircraft carrier's electromagnetic catapult continues to circulate widely in global defense circles, who could have imagined that another revolutionary piece of equipment for the Chinese Navy had quietly completed its final preparations? On September the 25th, newly circulated images revealed that the blue construction shelters on the deck of the Type 076 amphibious assault ship, the lead vessel, Sichuan, had been dismantled. This transformation resembles a soldier shedding training gear to prepare for actual combat. The world's first electromagnetic catapult-equipped amphibious assault ship is rapidly approaching its sea trial milestone. In the annals of naval development worldwide, no amphibious assault ship has ever blurred the lines between amphibious vessels and aircraft carriers as distinctly as the Sichuan. Boasting a full-length flight deck, electromagnetic catapults, a dual island design, and fixed-wing aircraft operation capabilities, all hallmarks of traditional carriers, it stands as a de facto aircraft carrier disguised as an amphibious assault ship. According to open-source intelligence analysis, the ship's electromagnetic catapult track spans approximately 130 meters. It is not only capable of launching the Z-11 unmanned combat aircraft, but also possesses the capability to launch the KJ-600 early warning aircraft and the J-35 stealth fighter. This design allows the Chinese Navy to bypass the need for vertical takeoff and landing aircraft like the USF 35B, instead enabling carrier-class fixed-wing fighters to operate directly from amphibious assault ships, achieving a true leapfrog advancement. The electromagnetic catapult system on the Sichuan represents another technological leap for the Chinese Navy. This system shares the same origins as that on the Fujian, both utilizing a medium-voltage direct current integrated power system. Compared to the medium-voltage AC solution used on U.S. Ford-class carriers, China's technology consumes 30% less energy, requiring only 120 megajoules per launch at one-fifth the cost of U.S. equivalents. More impressively, its reliability is remarkable. While the U.S. Ford-class carrier's electromagnetic catapult has a failure rate of 1 in 400 launches, the Type 076 maintained a flawless record during ground testing. This technological breakthrough enables the Sichuan to launch a fighter jet within 30 seconds, with a maximum daily sortie capacity of 50 flights, rivaling the operational efficiency of a small to medium-sized airport. In terms of combat capability, the Sichuan fundamentally redefines the paradigm of amphibious warfare. Traditional landing operations require hours for reconnaissance, beach assault, and frontal assaults, whereas the Type 076 rewrites the script into a blitzkrieg. Drone swarms preemptively neutralize coastal defenses, while J-35 fighters armed with PL-15 missiles seize air superiority. Simultaneously, Z-20 helicopters airlift special forces to enemy positions, and hovercraft-carrying tanks breach the waves for amphibious landings. Three waves of assault achieve multidimensional control within one hour. Its troop deployment efficiency is astonishing. The ship can carry 1,000 Marines and 30 amphibious assault vehicles. When the well deck doors open, three Type 726 a hovercraft can charge simultaneously, delivering an entire armored company ashore within half an hour. By comparison, the U.S. America-class amphibious assault ships sacrificed their landing craft bays to preserve aviation capabilities, carrying only two landing craft and having their troop deployment capacity. The aircraft configuration of the Sichuan ship also highlights the forward-thinking approach of the Chinese Navy. Analysis indicates it can accommodate six J-35 stealth fighters, four Z-20 anti-submarine helicopters, 12 GZ-11 stealth attack drones, and 24 swarm drones. This hybrid formation of manned aircraft and drones represents the future direction of maritime and aerial warfare. The GZ-11 drone, with a 14-meter wingspan and 1.5-ton payload capacity, boasts a radar cross-section comparable to a fishing boat. Specifically optimized for the Type 076 electromagnetic catapult system, during a covert 2024 test in the Red Sea, a swarm of 100 GZ-11 stealth drones achieved a 90% success rate in penetrating Saudi Arabia's Patriot Missile Defense Network, a feat that stunned the Pentagon. In terms of defense systems, the HJ-10 warship is armed to the teeth. Three close and weapon systems are arranged in a triangular formation at the stern, two HQ-10 missile launchers specifically designed to counter supersonic anti-ship missiles, while the central 1130 close and weapon system can unleash 166 rounds per second, weaving an impenetrable metal storm of fire. Electromagnetic jamming devices along the hull generate a 2-kilometer radius electromagnetic fog, providing a soft defense shield for the vessel. More advanced is its eye battlefield management system, capable of simultaneously processing 
2,000 tactical targets and instantly generating 36 combat plans, transforming the entire ship into a supercomputer afloat. In terms of construction efficiency, China's shipbuilding industry has demonstrated remarkable prowess. The Sichuan ship was launched on December 27, 2024, and became fully operational in just seven months, setting a new record for the construction speed of a 50,000-ton warship. Cost control is equally exemplary. The single ship cost of the Type 076 is only $1.7 billion, compared to $15 billion for the U.S. Ford-class aircraft carrier and $4 billion for the America-class amphibious assault ship. China's strategy of applying commercial shipbuilding standards to military vessels has reduced electromagnetic catapult system costs to one-fifth of U.S. equivalents, with construction from steel plate cutting to launch taking just 14 months. In contrast, the delivery of the U.S. in Gaul shipbuilding LHA-8, Bougainville, has been delayed until 2026 due to gearbox failures and an island fire, incurring $68 million in cost overruns. As the Sichuan-class amphibious assault ship approaches sea trials, the global naval balance of power is quietly shifting. Pentagon war games indicate that a Type 076 strike group could breach GAM's defenses within 72 hours, reducing the U.S. 7th Fleet's anti-submarine detection success rate to below 18%. When three Type 076 ships operate in formation, the first wave can deploy 72 Z-11 attack drones, unleash 576 missiles, and coordinate with 96 assault vehicles to establish five landing zones. Meanwhile, 36 J-35 fighters can directly establish a 1,500-kilometer no-fly zone. This capability far exceeds the traditional role of an amphibious assault ship, making it a true expeditionary fortress. The emergence of the Hainan-class ship signifies the Chinese Navy's accelerated strategic shift from near-sea defense to far-sea defense. Its synergy with the Fujian-class aircraft carrier is particularly complementary, deployed separately. They function like hunters casting a net, Instantly converging firepower through data links, when operating with the carrier, they transform into airborne nannies, specializing in drone reconnaissance and electronic jamming. This flexible and adaptable operational model makes it difficult for adversaries to devise effective countermeasures. Reviewing the development journey of the Sichuan ship from concept proposal to imminent sea trials, the Chinese Navy has demonstrated remarkable innovation capabilities and execution efficiency. This vessel is not only a technological achievement, but also a symbol of the Chinese Navy's revolutionary thinking. It breaks free from the constraints of traditional ship classification, creating an entirely new category of maritime combat platform. When the Attack 11 drone swarm launches from its electromagnetic catapult, conventional naval warfare will be fundamentally rewritten. Rivals still dreaming of lightning carriers may need to completely recalibrate their mindset when confronted by this all-purpose warship integrating amphibious projection, air combat, and future technology. As year's end approaches, all eyes are fixed on Hudong Zhonghua shipyard. When the Sichuan sets sail for its maiden sea trials, it will not only showcase the pinnacle of China's shipbuilding prowess, but also herald a fundamental transformation in future naval warfare. For observers of modern naval development, this is undeniably a moment to witness history.